Welcome back you guys. Happy Monday. Tam here from Amazon Lions. Today we're going to talk about differentiation. One of the most important topics out there guys. Like in, that's just not in Amazon. It's in any business. Uh, the companies that I've worked for before, uh, one of the things that we always struggled was how can we differentiate our product? How can we stand out among competition? And we analyzed our competition, we did SWOT analysis, we did all kinds of stuff. And at the end of the day, we found out that it's not really the services that really differentiate too much because everybody provides great customer service, everybody talks about quality, everybody talks about like how this is going to solve that issue and this is going to solve this issue. So how can we differentiate ourselves when everything is the same? Every other service is the same and a lot of it is not because differentiation didn't exist before. What happened was people realized what is important. They did their research, competitors realized, so everybody is now providing everything, right? So it's one of the hardest things to do in life. It's one of the hardest things to do in business. And we're gonna talk about today some of the key ways you can differentiate yourself and your Amazon FBA business. So let me tell you guys a story about how I failed in realizing how to differentiate my product. And I was selling this, uh, these cameras that used, uh, they were like light bulb cameras uh, that you can just attach to any light bulb, but it had a USB slot so you could actually record, like you can put a different kind of USB in it and sell it. But when I started selling this product, it was actually one of my first products. And what I did was I just sold it without the USB. I just sold it the way it is. And I said, you know what, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. I'm just going to sell it the way it is and people are going to buy it. You know, like it's, it's a great product. It's amazing. You can just literally attach it to any light fixture. It has power. You don't need to do anything else. And that's it. It has an app. You can take a look at the video on your phone and what have you, right? What happened was I did not differentiate. I didn't reinvent it. I didn't do anything different that my competitors were doing. Ended up not selling as many units. I did sell some, but I didn't sell as many units as I was excited to uh, realizing how great of an amazing or, or an amazing product it is. So my failure was that I should have reinvented the product. I should have done my second product could have been a USB or an S, sorry, not USB, SD card that could, uh, that fits into that, uh, into that product, the camera, right? I should have sold those two together. I should have combined them into a bundle and sold them together. Not only my product would have sold for a higher price, I would have made more money, but at the same time, I would have launched my second product as part of my first product and built a value. And that is one of my failures that I've done with Amazon and I learned from it. I learned that whenever you're selling a product, you have to differentiate it with the look, with the feel, the way it's used and provide additional value. People respond really well to providing additional value. And for me to actually include that SD card with, uh, with the uh, camera, it would have been an amazing thing. It would have been like not, none of my competitors were doing that. So it would have been, uh, it would have stopped the buyer from going to find the SD card for that camera, right? Uh, so it was a surveillance camera. So that is why we innovate. That is why we differentiate so that we don't run into low sales. We don't run into not standing out uh, from our competition because there's a lot of competition out there, guys. So. Let's start thinking about some of the things we can do. Let's say you are selling uh, baby products. Let's say you're selling um, uh, baby bottles, right? Like Tommy Tippies, uh, so sippy cups or whatever. What can you add to make to differentiate that thing? What you can do and is add something else, maybe a cleaning brush for those bottles, right? That is a related product that is useful. People will need it to clean the bottles, right? and it is going to build value for your listing. Not only that, you can combine the two, create a new packaging, design your packaging. Now, all of a sudden you're differentiating and branding, right? And provide additional value. So that's how we basically provide additional value and create a product that is new, original in a lot of ways, even though it's like two uh, already done products, but you're combining them together. That's what makes it different. And that's how we differentiate. 
your packaging is another opportunity for you to actually include some brochures, some um, uh, content that could help that person, uh, maybe show them how to clean the bottle, maybe like include something, some kind of value that can add to your product. If it is uh, the um, Tommy Tippy or Sippy Cups that I was talking about, maybe uh, uh, add a guide, create a guide on how to clean the bottle and how to use the second product that's inside the box to clean that bottle. And those are the kind of things that will really differentiate your product. And even though it's a bit more, people are not gonna go somewhere else to shop for the brush that they will need to clean the bottle, right? So that's how we, that is the main way to stand out uh, in Amazon. And unfortunately, like it's one of the only ways to really differentiate your product. Um, it's the other ways you can is to basically uh, create different colors create different colors of things. So if a bottle, let's say people are getting a red, um, a red uh, or a blue only, each, like for boys and for girls, maybe create some different colors, maybe do some yellows, do some pinks, do some, uh, something different, right? Something that will add value. People give people a little bit more option. I suggest not to give too many options just because uh, you're gonna get into a different kind of trouble with that because some of your products will sell, some of them won't depending on which color is popular. But I would do a little bit more than what my competitors are doing. I would provide a bit more value to give them the impression that, hey, I'm thinking about these things. I'm trying to solve these problems that my competitors are having and the buyers are aware of it. So that's the kind of differentiation I'm talking about. But the main one, guys, is product bundling. Product bundling can really do wonders for you guys. And the way I've talked about it, don't just include like a baby bottle that or sippy cup that you're selling with like something like a mouse, uh, a computer mouse, or something like um, that is like a towel, baby towel, right? Yes, they are kind of in the same category, the baby towel and sippy cup, they're both for babies, but they're not related. You want something that's directly related, guys. Like if it's a baby bottle, do a bottle cleaner. Um, do maybe like a second lid for the bottle or something like that that will create value in the mind of the buyer for you guys. And let's use another example. Another example, let's say you're selling hairbrush, right? Um, you're selling this hairbrush what you can do is provide, maybe uh, the, maybe find a supplier that can build or create a hairbrush for you that you can change maybe the top of it, maybe the bristles, maybe some way uh, you, it's like a click in, you take out the bristles when they're old and you put in your new one and you're adding the second uh, bristle as a value added. That's how you create value guys and that's how like for a little bit more price of course, but in the mind of the buyer, it's a lot more because all of a sudden you're not only giving them one brush for that price, they can actually uh, use that brush for a longer period because you've provided the second bristle. So that's it guys. I hope you guys learned something valuable today because differentiation is one of the main things we all struggle with and sometimes I'm just sitting there thinking about it hard about a product that I'm selling that what can I do to differentiate this product and don't get frustrated guys if you have any questions if you have a product that you're selling or you really want to sell and you want to know how to differentiate it drop a link or drop a comment below let's get uh, talking let's talk about let's see your product I want to see what exactly you have in front of you and uh, let's see how we can actually differentiate it in the marketplace so you can stand out. Thanks again, guys. I really appreciate your viewership. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell button, and let me know. Let me know if these videos are helping you guys. If there is another topic that you want me to talk about that you have been wondering or looking for information on, I'll be happy to help, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Subscribe. Don't forget to like and comment on this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.